everyone, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, the beginning of Destiny. In this episode, we're gonna actually head to the forest, because as you can tell, it's nighttime. And, if I get everything correct, at 11 o'clock in the forest, something will appear. So let's go. Alright, everything's nice and calm, and... Oh, crud. Hi, uh, uh, you some sort of exchange student, or, uh, no, no, you're actually stinking Jinzo. You can see me. My name is Jinzo. <laughs> I guess you're not like the other humans. I'm looking for a victim to restore my power. Okay. How are you still here? In the power plant? Oh well. You know what? Uh, let's duel him! Just for the heck of it! A duel? Okay! Okay, so yeah, we're actually dueling Jinzo. This is weird. And I'm gonna go second. Because I really want to destroy anything he throws at me. Bring it on, Jinzo! I will sacrifice you! To resurrect me back to life! Jeez. How'd they make Jinzo's model look so intimidating? <laughs> yeah, this is actually gonna- Oh my gosh, they even have the sting animation for him and everything. Cause he can't actually draw cause it doesn't- Cause he's a dual spirit. Okay, this- this is actually stinking cool. Cause this is actually my first time dueling him cause I never realized till- Recently that I can't actually duel him in. First of all, I'm gonna play Pot of Greed because I'd be an idiot not to and ooh I'm gonna play myself Fusion Sage so I can get polymerization and activate it Because you know what? I'm gonna start things off really strong By summoning the Flame Wingman Go kick his butt, buddy All right And you know what? I'm gonna say my warrior lady because I'm just gonna set a monster for now and have my wingman destroy his face down monster. I've got a good feeling. Oh, Spirit Caller. There's a game named after you. <laughs> it's just a coincidence, though. But yeah, wingman will burn him for a thousand, and we're looking good. Let's end. All right. I wonder what Jinzo will have for me. Please use the ectoplasma card. <laughs> That'll be funny. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Uh, bye, Wingman. And he's summoning Emissary of the Afterlife. Um, I actually never heard of that card till now. That's interesting. So I'm just gonna... Ah! I'll take the hit for now. I doubt that monster will be... Um... I doubt it'll be a threat. My biggest issue would be if he actually summons Jinzo. But for now, I'm just gonna set Clayman and pass. Man, losing Wingman was rough. That's the number one issue with heroes in general, is that they're bad when it comes to board wipes. Though, now that I think about it, back then anyway, board wipes were rough on every um, stinking archetype. Example, Lightning Vortex, um, Dark Hole, and Raigeki just stinking wreck. But guess who also wrecks Clayman? And I guess he's, yeah, he's just gonna end for now. Perfect. Come on. Okay, Karma Cut. That might come in handy. Because, uh, who do I summon? I'm just gonna play on the defense for, I'm just gonna play defense for now. And just set DG Warrior Lady in pass. Don't have Jinzo. Okay, we're fine. Uh, yeah, I will actually let him take the burn damage. Because, man, <laughs> it's good. Uh, no, I will not activate her effect yet. And because... Okay, got seven tools. Uh, do I just Karma Cut that monster away and summon Spark Man? You know what? Sure. Gonna play my Karma Cut. Discard seven tools in order to banish his Emissary. And now summon Spark Man. And switch my Warrior Lady to attack mode. So now let's have some fun. Spark Man destroys Armored Zombie. Good job. He's going to get hit for 100. And now Warrior Lady will destroy his face down monster. And it's just another Spirit Caller. But Spirit Caller's effect is actually going to go through and 
summon back his stinking zombie. Whoop de doo. Okay, it's his turn again. Oh, Reflect Bounder, that's actually a nuisance. Wait, is, is he attacking my warrior lady with Reflect Bounder? Sure! Let's get rid of the issue! Oh, okay, this is looking good now. Uh, Steel Cage might come in handy later. I'll just have Sparkman destroy a zombie. Hit, oh, again, and then pass for now. Okay, so far things are looking good in this duel. Okay, it's just gonna set one and pass. Looking good. Oh, King of Swamp! I could summon Thunder Giant. And I'm gonna hold off on Thunder Giant for now, but I will get my Polymerization Search. And then I will have my King... My, not King. Spark... My... Dang it. That's annoying. But it's fine. So... Okay, good. He does not have Jinzo yet, or else he would have summoned him. And Avion. Okay, I think that, yeah, this is a good time to bust out Thunder Giant. So, let's bring him out. Because I got my Steel Cage in case something happens to Thunder Giant. So, yeah. I doubt Jinzo has anything that will beat, beat my buddy up. So let's activate Thunder Giant's effect, discard Avion to destroy his Tamer, well, not Tamer, Trainer, go into battle phase, and blow up his face down monster. Morphing Jar, okay, that's nice. And, ooh, nice stuff. Uh, I'll go into main phase two, set hero signal, and end for now. And the good thing is that since I have Thunder Giant, even if he does find a way to bring out Jinzo, Thunder Giant has the same amount of attack points as his... Oh, shoot. Don't have skill drain. Don't have skill drain. Oh. That will be annoying. Because what Ectoplasma does is, during the end phase, each player has to sacrifice a monster and then burns the opponent for half their attack points. And, yeah, it is a pretty annoying card, but, the, yeah. but guess what? Jinzo left himself wide open. So guess what? It's time to show him the light. So I will be Ooh. I'll just banish King the Swamp and Sparkman for now, because I don't want to get rid of Flame Wingman in there, even though because it'll power up Wingman a little bit more. Well, Shining Flare. And do I activate a second one? Sure, why not? Let's beat him down. And oh crud, I can only summon Rampart Blaster. Okay, so we're going for the heroes that Jaden actually used to defeat Jinzo. Let's go. Because <laughs> remember correctly, he mainly used Rampart Blaster and um, Mudball Man against him. Good lord, why do I remember this crud? Anyway, let's take him down. So first of all, let's have Thunder Giant attack him. Bolting Thunder. Oh, Call of the Haunted. Great. Oh, wait, that's bad. Because now that monster will be at maximum power. No, I will not re continue that attack. Because guess what? My, bo my boy Shining Flare can dish out a lot of pain. So he destroys him. And activates his effect to just dish out even more damage. Gosh, I love Shining Flare Wingman. Then I will have Sparkman attack him directly. Looking good. And now Rampart is going to finish this. Finish him off, Rampart Blaster. Rampart Barrage. You're done, Jinzo. Hey, at least we got to see him use Ectoplasma, which is nice. And I'm just lucky he didn't summon himself. Sorry, Jinzo. He just had to go down. And I got some decent DP from that. Nice. Hey, you're pretty good. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um, see you later, Jinzo. Jeez. Also, apparently, if, it, if you have 60,000 DP, you can actually buy him, and you'll be his... Well, and he'll be your tag partner. E yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go end today off now. Or, end this night off. Jeez. Anyway... This was an interesting day. 
But now it's Friday! And ooh, I got an email. Let's take a look. Oh, hey, it's from Jaden. Hey, dude, what's up? Hey, thanks for earlier, dude. Let's talk again. Sounds good, dude. Alright. Now I guess... Um, that's all we can do right now is just head to class, so that's what I'm gonna do! Okay, good morning, students! Ah, bright! Hey, that's not nice, Jaden. Huh? Why? It's bright in here. I thought you meant chance the Chancellor's bald head. Oh, you mean like that one thing in SpongeBob? My eyes! Ha 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 Okay, we're on today's lesson. You know, speaking of Bastion, we haven't drooled him yet. I think I should get on that, but first of all, uh, no, I do not want to talk to you, Mindy. Jeez. I, I want to talk to Alexis. No, class ended a while ago, I know. Let's talk about the Academy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Gosh, dang it. Anyway, uh, let's go check on Bastion. Hey, Bastion, how are you, dude? Gabriel? You broke my concentration again! Uh, hey dude, I just want to talk about hobbies. Just the usual. Dang it, okay. Y you know what, Bastion? I kind of, uh, you haven't had your screen time yet. Let's duel. A duel? Sure. Okay, rock! Come on! Alright, uh, let's go for paper. Okay, what the dump? Sis- No, rock. My bad, I accidentally- of course, whenever I was wanting to go for scissors, he wins. And he goes for paper. Alright, I'm going first then. This shall be interessante. Also, Bastion's deck is interesting, to say the least. Bring it on! Okay, so so far the starting hand isn't the greatest. I mean, I did get Miracle Fusion, which is nice, and Polymerization, but... I don't know, there's certain things that could be better, but... This might work out in my favor, depending on what happens. So Bastion's gonna draw. He's gonna summon Saber Swords. Okay, so Bastion's gimmick, oddly enough, in this game, well, at least for his starting deck, is 19,000 attack point beaters on top of um certain other monsters. And okay, bye, Sparkman. But guess what, Bastion? I got Hero Signal out and about. And I'm gonna bring up from my deck a monster you can't beat over. Clayman! Now, I think he's just gonna say, yeah. Uh, from what I know, he does run cards like Magic Sue. I got a plan. I got a dumb plan now. <laughs> okay, if he has Heavy Storm, I will cry. But guess what? This plan is dumb, and it might work. <laughs> Alright, Bastion, go ahead. Make your move. Okay, he's gonna summon another Saber Source, because good lord. He can't get enough of those 19,000 beaters. But guess what? My Morphing Jar got flipped. And now he's going to have to discard his... Oh, he got Magic Cylinder in his hand? Okay. But yeah, now... I don't have to worry about that. And on top of that, I have a fresh new hand with a lot of stuff to use. Starting with my King of the Swamp. Because now... Oh, right, I have no Polymerization. I forgot that I had uh, both of my polys face down. I am an Idroid. But guess what? That doesn't matter because I'm going to bust out Tempest. Alright, buddy. Kick his butt. And on top of that, I'm going to activate Miracle Fusion. Bastion, you're going to get destroyed this turn. Trust me, pal. Because I'm going to go for Shining Flare Wingman again. And I'll banish the other Sparkman in my grave. And create the almighty, all-powerful Shining Flare Wingman. Look at that attack. Alright, let's beat him up. Shining Flare destroys Saber Swords. I knew we had that face down. Alright, we lost Shining Flare. That blows. But on the bright side, we still have Tempest out and about. And Tempest is still pretty strong. He's a decent beater, but that's basically about it. He does provide protection, though. Which is nice. 
And dang it, hard the underdog is going to go through. Okay, he's going to destroy Avion. That's a little bit on the annoying side, but I'll be fine. And he's going to set one past. Gotcha. Uh, debating, 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 debating. I am... I don't want to take risk, but I think... Yeah, his two other face downs aren't anything scary, or else he would have played him when Tempest attacked. So what I'm going to do is summon Thunder Giant. Come on out, my friend. Calling Thunder Giant. Do your thing. And then I'm going to play Miracle Fusion. Yes, I know I'm playing it really, really risky right now. But guess what? I'm, I really want to take him down. And, ooh, wait, shoot, that's right. I could summon Wild Wingman and destroy one of his face downs. Ah, that's tempting, but I'm going to go for pure damage. This failed me once, but I doubt it'll fail me again. And look at that. Shining Flare will do more than half his, his life points in one blow. What the heck is that? Oh. Oh, I got hit with the damage instead. Okay, that's interesting. But guess what, Bastion? You still got hit hard, too. And now you're going to get hit even harder. Get him, Thunder Giant. Get rid of Ga Gamma. And Tempest, take him down. Well, he's not done yet, but still. Okay, I'm going to end for now. Okay, Bastion. What else do you have? Okay, we've won. Okay, so battle phase. Let's have Tempest destroy his face down monster. It's just Insect Knight. And let's have Thunder Giant end this for exact damage. Get him! Ah, uh, okay, Bastion was not as difficult as I thought. Probably just because I brought out some really heavy-hitting monsters and overwhelmed him. How impossible. My formulas were perfect. Where did I make a mistake? I don't know, Bastion. But hey, I won! And wait, did I level up? Yes, I did! Sweet! Ugh, no way. I let my guard down. I admit defeat. GG, Bastion. You did well. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. Just gonna double check. Yeah, Jinzo's not here anymore. That's good. Yeah, uh, nice duel, Bastion. And welcome to the roster. I'd give him something, but uh, I'm out of sandwiches right now. So anyway, to the card shop. Alrighty then. So first of all, I'm going to spend my DP on four sandwiches for the heck of it. And then spend the rest on cards. Okay, so what am I going to get from this first batch if it's the egg witch in here? Not no egg witch, but there is a plane. Yes, I got it. Now, what am I going to get? Dark scorpion retreat. I've literally never heard of that card till now. Jeez, okay. Uh, let's talk to Dorothy again and hopefully get something better. Come on. Okay, there is spicy food in here, which Jaden likes, so... Jam. Dang it. Alright, let's talk to her again. I really, really want another golden egg witch, because if that's possible... Good stinking lord, dude. No, no. Ooh, I got the spicy curry. Nice. And final sandwich before I spend everything else on... Actually, wait. I can buy one more before I spend my crud on DP. And... Oh, another plain sandwich is in... Oh, got it. Awesome. What am I gonna... Dark Arena. Uh, wasn't that card that Titan used in his duel against Alexis? I think so. Okay, I'm gonna get one more. And then buy cards. Come on, something good. Um, no egg rich this time, but... Got a pineapple, so that's cool. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's go buy some cards now. Come on, Cyberjar! Please give me Cyberjar! No, okay, I still bought... Quite a few packs, so there is a good chance. Dang it. Okay. There is a good chance of me getting... Ooh, Magician of Faith. Not the one I'm looking for, but hey, that's cool. And... All Vindictive. Okay. And... Ooh, Dice Jar is actually a really interesting monster, though. Bubble Man. Okay. And one last pack, I believe. 
Okay, didn't get too many things, but, um, Dice Jar is a really interesting card, not gonna lie, though, because it has the potential to do 6,000 points of damage to the um, opponent, which is crazy. Yeah. Okay, then, so, anyway, let's talk to Jaden really quick. Hey, dude, what's up? Oh, hey, Gabriel. Tell me, you like heroes? I love them, and they're so cool. When I was a kid, I really wanted to be one. There was this one time when I was a kid, I had a card design competition. I drew a picture of a hero and sent it in. I wonder what happened to that thing. Oh, you'll find out eventually, dude. So anyway, let's give him the spicy curry sandwich. Because why not? Oh, cool. Okay, that's good. And let's give him the plain sandwich. Which he should like. And I think one more and that'll max out that heart. Then I'm gonna give the pineapple one to Chumley, because I have a feeling he'll like it. Okay, so now let's give the pineapple sandwich to Chumley. Oh, thanks, dude! Oh, good, he actually he's actually okay with that. Sweet. But anyway, I guess let's just end this day off. Okay, so just to quickly go and double check... So far, Jaden. Oh wait, he didn't get as much as I thought, because right now he's oh like, um, he's getting there to a six heart, and once we do that, he will basically be our tag partner, which is really cool. But also, we have a new member to this squad, Bastion Masawa. Yeah. Interesting. Anyway, uh, also Jinzo's here now, so uh, that's. That's interesting. Anyway. Anyway, let's end this day off. Oh, hey, cool. It's Saturday. And let's check our email. Oh, hey, another thing from Jaden. Sweet. Oh, I want to see how my decks are shaping up. Come on, let's duel at four this afternoon. Okay, that'll be interesting. So another thing that will happen whenever you're friendship is high with a, with a character is they will ask to duel you and their duels will be very interesting to say the least but anyway let's go to I guess let's just head to class now I guess welcome duelists I'm Chancellor Shepard you are the best young duelists in the world who knows the next king of games may be you Chancellor Shepard? You're acting kind of weird, dude! Just nostalgic. So, who's the next King of Games? Uh... And we're done with today's lesson. I need to go check on the Chancellor to see if he's not going loopy again. Alright, so, first of all, let's go talk to Alexis. You know, class ended a while ago, I know. Uh, let's talk about Academy, please don't- Okay, good, she's not mad. And you know what? Let's go give her a jam sandwich, because she likes it. There we go. Anyway, let's go to the cliffs. And that's actually where we're going to end off the episode. <laughs> okay, guys. So for once, uh, we're not ending the episode in our room. And instead, we're just going to end it here. So thank you all so much for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to duel Jaden. Again. Because it's going to be a very interesting duel. And I'll see y'all in, guys. Bye! You